<laughs> but yeah, you could make, there's even a beverage that uh, they make out of the, the blue corn, this one here. And it's a cold drink, it's not alcoholic, but they make a, you know, like a cold drink out of it. Just as a, I guess it adds the flavor to it, but it's made out of the blue corn. There's a, uh, I think it's Pima. Uh, that's a group right down in the southwestern U.S. And they have a corn that, the, the kernels are like this big. Yeah, no, they're crazy big. And the... Yeah, they're they're uh, like Peruvian, Peruvian corn, and I wanted to get some because I thought I'm gonna grow it here, <laughs> I'm gonna try it, but I think it was like a 170 day corn or something ridiculous. Yeah, you could do it in a greenhouse, I guess. Yeah, just to say you did it. <laughs> but that's a really cool corn because the cobs are quite large. Um, I guess to accommodate the the uh, the corn, but um, let's do this. And then I brought I brought my little uh, I brought my little uh, induction stove here because I know some of you got to eat some of the cornbread that I made last week. But there's another uh, corn, I guess, a way to eat cornbread that um, got adopted by the settler culture here. And some people call them Johnny Cakes. Who's heard of Johnny Cakes? Johnny Cakes? No? Yeah, you've heard of Johnny Cakes. Yay, one person. <laughs> Good thing you came today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, just like a pancake. Yeah, so the, uh, I should have brought some maple syrup. Don't have any. Grits? Oh? No, grits is another thing. So grits is like polenta. So grits would be uh, made with hominy corn, which is the one that's been niche to malize, but they break it into little chunks rather than uh, a powder, like this is cornmeal. So it'd be like a, a more coarse, like a coarse cornmeal. And then you make a, a gruel out of it and eat it with butter and salt and pepper. It's delicious. We, I make it for breakfast quite often. Uh, the um, is it French or polenta? Is that Italian? Is it polenta is Italian? Yeah. So polenta is similar to that, but uh, rather than eating it like as a gruel, they'll take it and uh, they'll make the gruel and then they set it into like a mold, and then it will solidify like into like a gel. Then you take that and you slice it up, and then they put sauces on it and basil or whatever and and eat that so that's another uh, corn meal kind of dish that you can make um, but today what I wanted to do was show you how to make um, how to make the Johnny cakes it's super super easy and then we can just turn this on and um, I'll uh, let's see here um, cornmeal you know what I Wait a second, I don't think I need it. Here I am going, I think I need. No, I don't. I don't need anything. Yeah. Oh, I better get that out of there. You want to help me? Come on. You can get up here and do it. Here. No, see? I'm watching. Yeah, see? I'll, I'll be the stirrer, girl. Yeah, you'll be the stirrer. Stirrer. There we go. Let's make enough so everybody can have some. Now, this corn here... I just ground it up, but if you niche tamalize it first, it makes it uh, softer and easier, and I could have ground it in a regular grinder, I think. Let's yeah, see, you think that's way, two yeah. cups? That's about two cups, Yeah, right? that looks like two cups to me. Does it? Yeah, two cups in uh, Let's one Let's do four. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You got it. All right, so you got that. And I brought some eggs from the chickens. Oh, live. Live um, eggs, yeah. Yeah, live. Fresh. Live chicken. Don't mix it. Let's put the, uh, let's put the eggs in. And then... Uh, and then we'll... Um, I guess I should have put this in. But that's okay. It'll be all right. Oh. Look at that. Baking powder? Yeah, a little bit. 
Oh, cool. Make it puff up a little bit. Yeah. I should have put it in it before I put the, uh, oh, what you call it. That's okay. It'll still work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then a uh, little milk. I'll just put it all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And a little bit of oil. Let's see. Okay, now you can mix it up. Okay. I feel like it depends on what you want to use it for, but is there a, a variety that would be have more nutritional value for us? Or? For the uh, corn? Yeah. Um, I think any of these uh, any of these corns that are the the heirloom varieties. Well, you know what though, I'm not trying to give sweet corn a bad bad rap. Sweet corn is awesome. It is tasty, and we actually have a uh, uh, not a sweet corn, but you know how we eat the green corn. Because that's what sweet corn is too, right? We eat it in the green corn stage. It's they call it the milk stage of corn. Is it's when you squeeze it. Green? Yeah, that's a sweet corn. This thing is like slanted a little bit. Maybe we can go. Maybe go this way. Maybe go this way. Yeah, maybe. Nope, I gotta have another one now. Hold on. Wouldn't you use coconut milk in here? You could. Or is it just. You could? Yeah, I was just wondering because there's some vegans here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So they can't. Uh, I didn't know. I, the other day I thought we were. Who's vegan? Jess is vegan. Um, where's uh, Julia? And. Uh, she's vegan too? She's well, she's vegetarian. Vegetarian? You're total vegan. Yeah. But I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I am at home. Right. And then, yeah. It's okay. okay. It's okay. You can, you, you, you would have one of these? There's yeah. only a little bit tab of milk, like only like 1%. <laughs> I uh, calculated it. There you go. <laughs> it's organic milk, too. So. All right. So, um, you can just cook these like little pancakes. You know what we should get? A little plate or something? Yeah, there we go. See? You can get up and come up here. If you guys want to cook your own, you can. But it's similar to, uh, I guess, with pancakes. You just wait till the bubbles come up and then you flip it over. You see that? The is the white one this one? The white one was this one. The hard one, huh? No, the light one. Yeah, this one was lighter. You can feel the difference. If you want to play around with it, you're welcome so that to do one that. Is good to eat like that. This one? Yeah, yeah you could. <laughs> oh my God, they're beautiful. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah, that's what I like about them, because then you can cook them up and... Whoop, sorry. How long did it take you to grind this? That didn't take long at all because okay. I used the machine. I used the, the co I used a coffee grind, uh, not a coffee, a coffee mill, like a, one of those big commercial Hobart ones. And then that kind of made it into a coarse cornmeal. And then I turned around and I put that into a, the uh, flour mill. And that's how I got that. That's homemade caramel. Ooh, okay. Homemade caramel. Let's try it. Does everyone here say caramel or caramel? Caram I say both. <laughs> caramel. I say caramel. Caramel. Yeah. Caramelized. I say caramel when I'm talking about the bar. Yeah, and then you say caramel when you're being fancy. Yeah. <laughs> what about envelope or envelope? Envelope, envelope, envelope. 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 <laughs> yeah. Herbs. 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 I call them herbs. The moral of the story English is a 
<laughs> right? <laughs> That's all I There's no rules. Learning it sucks. <laughs> English? Yeah. Like Calendula and Calendula. Calendula. <laughs> yeah. I used to get that a lot. That I would say Calendula and then people would say, I know I used to say Calendula. No, What's the difference? Tomato, tomato. Exactly. Yeah. There's so many of those. Turmeric. Turmeric. Yeah. Well, somebody dig in. All right, I'll eat this one. <laughs> Put some of caramel on it. Right. Oh yeah, caramel. Are you good, man? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh yeah, see, make it better. Are you looking at my other corn seeds? Yes, yes, yes. No, I have a bunch of other corn seeds here. Yeah. This I one. Like um, their disclaimer on the back. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is really cool. Look it up. Um, this was sent to me by Rowan White. Do you remember I told you Rowan mm -hmm. has been working on seeds and seed uh, seed saving. Is the one in the States? Yeah, she's actually from here, I believe, but she lives in the U.S. and she's been working with uh, seeds they sent. Was it's called Bear Paw Popcorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you see it, it looks like a bear paw. It's weird looking, but it's a genetic mutation, I'm sure. <laughs> this silly thing, it can't handle the heat. There we go. See, it kicked off. There we go. Yeah, I meant to grab a bottle of um, of uh, maple when I was heading out the door, but forgot. It seems like if you really love me. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was considering it, but I was going to ask you for permission. Oh, yeah, she she'll, she can eat anything. Okay, I'll grab her. Oh, oh, your best friend. Yes, yeah. A little There's bit. Cornmeal, milk, bacon powder, eggs. Eggs. You can put salt. I just didn't have any, but salt is nice. Oil. Yeah. And cornmeal, you could buy that in like a superstore? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could use regular cornmeal. This is just, Home. you know, this is this stuff, the homemade cornmeal. Do they, do they yeah. have local places where they sell like locally made cornmeal? Nope. And that's what would be awesome, yeah. is if the indigenous people here would start that. But you know what? It doesn't have to be indigenous people. It could be Hayes Farm. It could be any of you farmers. The farmer that I got this from, I have to tell you my farmer's story. So I went to a corn fence. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what farmers go to. We go to conferences, right? <laughs> so there was this conference down in the state of Maine, and uh, they invited me to come down um, because all these farmers were getting together. And it was at a farm, and um, there was uh, all these farmers down there. there. None of them were indigenous. But their goal was to re, uh, reintroduce this kind of corn, the, the heirloom flint corn, back into mainstream use, which was, uh, I thought, was a, a, a really cool approach because they were, here we go, we got more. Somebody else grab one. Two more. So um, 